What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry, AKA Watch Me Amazon. It is 2020, a new year, a new decade, and one of my goals going into this year is to create a tremendous amount of actionable Amazon FBA content for you guys. And I want to start off the decade by answering the age old question, is it too late to start an Amazon FBA business in 2020? And YouTube is actually a very good place for this video. And the reason it's a good place is because if you type in, is it too late to start an Amazon business in the YouTube search bar, you will see videos from last year, from 2018, from 2017, from 2016, and probably from 2015, all from different people telling you it is in fact too late to start an Amazon business. And although I wildly disagree with that take, I wanted to look at some of the numbers like the actual sales data and statistics to see if starting a new FBA business going into this de decade is still a good thing to do. So the first thing guys that I wanted to look at, I'm recording this video on January 8th. We are fresh out of the fourth quarter. My company had a massive December where we did over 1.5 million in sales, but I've been selling on Amazon for almost eight years now. So I wanted to see how did everyone else do? And from all accounts, from the thousands of sellers I've spoken to, from the hundreds of students in my group, everyone in general says that they saw quite the increase this Q4. In addition to that, Amazon just came out and they said that they had a tremendous, record-breaking, best ever holiday season as well. So I wanted to unpack these numbers a little bit. So Amazon came out and said, during the holiday week, which is from Thanksgiving to Christmas, and which this year had six fewer shopping days because of where Thanksgiving fell, they said that they shipped literally billions of items, tens of millions of Amazon devices, signed up more than 5 million new Amazon Prime customers in a single week, which is huge for us, by the way, because Prime customers tend to buy more stuff and buy stuff much more often. So that's really awesome for sellers out there. But more importantly, they said that there was record-breaking sales from third-party sellers like us who sold over one billion items this holiday season alone. On top of that, online sales in general were up over 18% this year compared to last year's number. Even though the season was shorter by six days, there was an 18% increase in the amount of money people spent online this year. And last year, there was also an 18% increase compared to the year before that, and so on and so forth. My point is, year after year, more and more and more people are going to be buying stuff online. Total retail sales this year were up 3.4%, but the amount of people buying stuff online and primarily on Amazon, that number was up huge again. And it will continue to keep going up, guys, because as big as Amazon is, it only makes up a small fraction of total retail sales. And I can promise you this, if God willing, we're making another video at the close of this decade in, you know, in 2030, the amount of sales that will be happening online via Amazon then is going to be much, much higher than it is now. So this holiday season, Amazon, and Amazon sellers had their best year ever. The year before that, it was their best year ever. And the year before that, it was their best year ever. It seems that every single year, retail sales are going to be all about online retail sales. And if we're talking about online retail sales, 
That means we're talking about Amazon. So the marketplace and Amazon in general and people just buying brand name products on Amazon, that number is going to continue to grow tremendously that I, I don't even think we have honestly scratched the surface yet with how those numbers are going to continue to grow. And it also means that there are going to be way more people buying our products online in the years and the decades to come. So in my opinion, based on the numbers, based on the market, based on the way that every single year there are just these huge increases in how and what people are buying online, that it is an amazing time to start an Amazon FBA business. Now, it's not easy. These numbers don't mean it's easy to start an FBA business and it's obviously you know a long-term play, but imagine starting an Amazon business when they make up just 10% of all retail sales and where you can be five or 10 years from now when those numbers double or triple. And here's the disclaimer, guys. As great as these numbers are, that does not mean selling on Amazon isn't without its issues. People who say it's harder to sell on Amazon today than it was five years ago, those people are absolutely right, it is. There are more sellers, there are more issues, there are more crazy Amazon rules, there are more headaches and things to look out for, uh, more competition, and of course, because there are more sellers, there are going to be more people failing. However, the market for selling on Amazon has never been better and the sellers who can adapt to all the changes, to all the new rules, the entrepreneurs who can outwork their competitors, the entrepreneurs that consistently learn and adapt and you know, those of us who can stick it out, for those of us that realize that this is a hard business that, need to, that needs to be treated seriously, and for those of us that are willing to put in the work and treat this as the long-term business venture that it is, meaning you know not like a get-rich-quick e-commerce thing, but like a real business, well, for those kind of people, for those kind of Amazon sellers, the future on Amazon has never looked better. So, to all the naysayers out there saying Amazon is dead or selling on Amazon is dead and who are looking for the next quick thing, let me assure you that you guys were saying the same thing two years and three years and five years ago and I personally know hundreds of sellers who have started within the last 12 to 24 months who are absolutely crushing it right now and I'm sure that's not going to change. Things could get harder, but from my experience, that's when opportunities get better. And again, if it was easy, this is something I always say, if it was easy, everyone would be doing it and we'd all be rich, right? So lastly, let me say this. If you are someone who is new to selling on Amazon, don't let people who can't do it tell you it's too late to be done. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you guys are ready for the insane amount of Amazon content I'm going to be dropping this year, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so you can see them when I post, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Peace. Woo!